In this video, I'd like to explain how SQL account version 718 and above will handle output tax related transactions that does not contain MSIC code. Now, in this GSD-03 submission, you will be able to see that there is a MSIC item number 19 codes uh, related transaction breakdown. We notice that in the custom tab website, if you put line line category, any amount that is put under line category will not be able to submit if you have less than 5 MSIC code. In other words, the line line is strictly for more than 5 categories. Okay, it is not meant for any other related transaction. Because of that, it causes a lot of inconvenience uh, to our end user using the previous version uh, because any transaction not related to MSIC without trans, uh, MSIC code transactions will actually fall under line line in the previous version. We have made it more convenient and rectified it by doing so. If you look at your chart of account, in theory, all your sales and sales adjustment related to output tax should have an MISIC code. That is definitely encouraged. But if you did not do so, for example, over here, we have banana and mango both have MISIC code, but durian does not as well as service charge and certain return inwards also do not. If you have those type of transaction, as you can see here, Banana, we have MSIC code, Mango, but Durian and Service Charge, as highlighted over here, does not have MSIC but have GST amount. In your GST 3 what we will do is we will automatically assign the what you seen earlier, the Durian as well as the Service Charge, into the largest amount of MSIC uh, code. So in this case, this code, which is banana, has the largest amount. Hence, we will automatically assign any transaction that does not have an MSIC code to this category. So as you can see here, banana, we did 180 GST. Durian, no MSIC, will now come under banana, as well as service charge transport, does not have an MSIC, will now come under banana. That is why you will see that this Industry code banana is 252 rather than just 180. So there will be no more line line. There will be no more line line in this case. All right. So they will comply to the tab submission easily. What if you have a sales return situation? Again, without uh, MSIC code. So let's look at this CN. We have a sales return of durian. We also have a sales return in mango for the month of September. So when we process the MSIC, uh, sorry, we process a GST return in September and look at the MSIC code section again, you will notice that since we only sold, did any sales invoice in mango, you will notice that the transaction again appears to be the same. In this case, we have a sales of mango of GST 60 ringgit. We also have a return of goods of 6 ringgit for mango. But in this case, the durian does not have industry code. It will automatically be assigned to the largest portion of the MSIC, which in this case is only mango. All right. That is why you do not see 40, uh, you do not see 60 or 54. You see 42 because it deducted automatically the CN from Durian as well, in this case 12 ringgit.